it on and make sure, it, since we're measuring the cement, make sure it's in pounds, which it is. And then you weigh this and tear it. And then we're gonna add the cement. Now we grab 12.9 pounds of pure cement. Now that you have your 12.9 pounds of cement, you're gonna use 12, four ounces of Drexel. All right. Okay, now you fill up the five gallon bucket with water, with five gallons of water, until it reaches to this mark. You can kind of see the shadow of your finger. You see it? And now you put your soap all the way in. Make sure everything's out. Okay, now for the foam testing, make sure your scale is on grams which is not okay and now you wait this container and tear it Alrighty, so now that you have your foam solution all mixed and ready to go what we're going to do is you're going to make sure that this machine is on normally it is but for some reason if it is not you're just going to turn it on and wait a couple minutes for it to pressurize up and then you're going to come down here and in order to turn on the foam generator, you're gonna click up. You're just gonna flick this up like that. And then you're gonna, when it's on, you're gonna change this switch from here to there. And that, what that does is that allows the air to go in to make the foam. So if it's like this, just a solution will be coming out. But as soon as you flick this up, foam should start coming out. Alrighty, so now that you have everything set up, this is to make the foam that is a two-man job. I have talked to up here helping me. And essentially, we're going to go about making sure that we have the correct density for the foam. So the range for that is 90 to 100 grams. And so we're going to essentially just test for it. If you're, when you go and you weigh it and you have below 90 grams, you don't want to turn this dial to the negative way, so you're gonna wanna turn it like that way. Or if it's above 100 grams, you're gonna wanna turn it this way. And so now that I have the machine set up, we're just gonna do a test run and see what we get through the weight. Ready? All right, so I'm pressing this up and that's gonna make Water. It should make the water come flowing out. So now we're going to turn this switch. And the foam starts coming out. You're going to wait a couple seconds. Now go for it. Okay, now we're going to be weighing the water we need for the mix. So we're going to be using this bucket. Make sure it's in pounds. So weigh that. Tear it. And we're going to be needing 6.9 pounds of water. Now that we have approximately 6.9 pounds of water, we're going to be adding it to the 7 gallon bucket to start our mixing process. Go. The water was added in already. Pee pee! Okay, go.
overwhelming. Okay, now it, to pour the mix in the cylinder, just grab like a plastic. Um, go. Okay, now in order for us to pour the mix in the cylinder, just grab an empty gallon bottle and cut it open to pour it in. Here go. And then just pour it in. And the okay. until it reaches the very top. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. And now you do the same process for all these cylinders. And beforehand, make sure to weigh your cylinders in pounds and tear on the scale. Okay. Now you put it on the scale. Get your pounds and then input in your data sheet.